Hello. We're going to learn about the anatomy of, uh, of the long bone. Uh, this is an example of uh, a long bone uh, that is sectioned uh, longitudinally. And in a long bone, we have two ends. And the two ends are called epiphyses. So we have a proximal epiphyses and we have a distal epiphyses. The area between the two epiphyses is known as diaphysis. And uh, in this uh, example of the long bone, uh, you notice uh, two types of bone tissues. Uh, the spongy bone tissue, which is visible in this area here, in the epiphysis area. And you, you also notice some of the spongy bone in the uh, other epiphysis. Uh, the spongy bones, they uh, contain uh, special tissue. Uh, that is known as the red bone marrow and uh, that's an important tissue uh, because that's where uh, hematopoiesis take place. Uh, the process involves production of all of the blood cells. That includes the red blood cells, the white blood cells, and uh, therefore uh, the tissue in these areas uh, is known as a hematopoietic type of tissue. In the adult bone, uh, in the diaphysis area, uh, there is a medullary cavity. The medullary cavity contains uh, another kind of bone marrow known as the yellow bone marrow. And uh, the reason why it's called that because it contains mostly lipid materials. Also in the diaphysis area we notice the other type of bone tissue which is uh, the compact bone tissue. It's also important to learn that in the bone there are two kinds of membranes. Uh, there is a membrane that covers the outside of the bone and uh, that covering is known as the periosteum. Uh, the periosteum uh, contains two types of tissue, uh, fibrous uh, tissue and uh, also it contains osteogenic cells. Uh, the osteogenic cells, uh, they contain osteoblasts which are important for formation of uh, a newborn tissue. The lining of, uh, of the bone also uh, contains a membrane that, that is known as endosteum. And the endosteum uh, consists also of uh, osteogenic uh, tissue where you have actually the three types of cells, uh, the osteoblast uh, that produce the bone cells, uh, the osteoclast which are the cells involved in the remodeling of the bones. They basically uh, destroy bone tissue and allow the bone uh, to either form a new tissue or uh, uh, do uh, changes in the uh, bone as a result of uh, injury or remodeling. Uh, the third type of, uh, of cells are known uh, uh, as a stem cells and those are also important in the uh, formation of uh, uh, bone tissue. We, uh, uh, we also have uh, uh, two examples of uh, long bone that, that is cut uh, in a cross section. Uh, so uh, 
these ones, they uh, uh, in this view, uh, they show the compact bone. They also show the medullary cavity. In, uh, in the other views, we, we can see also the, the compact bone, but you also notice some of the spongy tissue, and you can also see the uh, medullary cavity. So that is a, a brief description of the anatomy of a long bone.